news courtesy of hip hop dx talking about waste of times and maybe things that don't make quite much sense and also talking about um my issue in general with um rich and wealthy people nowadays especially people who have amassed a huge amount of wealth in their adult age right people that didn't kind of come from money um who basically were able to kind of you know cash out from the ages of like 30 to 50 years old regardless if you're in entertainment podcasting whatever i think there's a real lack especially when it comes to men there's a real lack of like fuck you energy right and that's that's that film right i forgot what movie it's from where the reference is but essentially the idea of having fuck you money is that so you can get the so you basically get the right to say fuck you to things right and that could be situations that could be opportunities that could be to people institutions because most men with a spine or most men with that kind of know themselves and want to you know take care of their family and their friends they don't ever want to be subservient right you want to get to a point where you're somewhat self-sufficient um um where you somehow have the ability to kind of be able to pay your own way where you're able it, even if it's, it's again it doesn't need to be a lot of money it just needs to be more so freedom from needing permission it kind of goes back to that story that's featured in i think the four hour work week or one of those books right where i think the story around it was basically because before i work here, again it gets a lot of bad stick but i think it's mostly because of the name of the book the title it kind of makes you think that you know tim ferris is a bit of a grifter which he isn't i think i think he's really good at that kind of total human op optimization thing that he popularized and um op yeah basically yeah human performance and you know making sure people are or trying to get to the heart of why successful people are successful like it's some really good stuff in there there's a story in the four hour work week where essentially there's this um really you know um well-off guy who goes to some sort of island somewhere finds a fisherman who's selling either barbecue fish or something um and it's really tasty everyone loves it but he only sells a certain amount for a certain set of time during the day and only on certain days and the guy just can't believe why he's turning down money right leaving money on the table why don't you do this why don't you do that if you do this you do that you can maximize your profits you could do this you could do this you could do that and then every time he keeps asking he keeps suggesting these things to him the fisherman's like yeah but what would that allow, what would that allow me to do right if i did if i was to do this if i was to get business cards do a flyer start a facebook page increase my hours get employees maybe open up my distributing whatever my distribution sorry maybe franchise some things from other islands what would that eventually get to what would that eventually lead for me what would be the kind of um advantage of doing such a thing and i think at the end the businessman's like oh when you do all that stuff that will mean that so you have the ability to basically do what you want with your free time you know spend time with your kids spend time with your wife hang out do hobbies that you actually really enjoy and he's like that's what i'm already doing yeah that's why i don't work five days a week that's why i only work two days a week so i don't do eight hour shifts i do only the peak or whatever right he designed a lifestyle in a way that allows him to basically be able to maximize his time with his family while also being able to put food on the table with his job but it's also not killing him to a point where he can't you know see his kids grow up which is what you're meant to be doing but again that's a that's a kind of version of fuck your fuck your money it's not fuck your money and like you can't say no to everybody but it still allows you the flexibility to not be able to clock in and shit and there's not enough good dudes that do that everyone's just too safe too timid um too quiet they don't want to ruffle any feathers which i understand because you know I'm sure if you're very successful, having some, you know, no, no, no mark, some no face um, avatar based flipping Twitter accounts attacking you for everything that you do can be a little bit cumbersome after a while. But one example of somebody having a few money and deciding to just go out there and say the most wildest shit is Akon, right? A guy that's supposedly worth somewhere in the region of like $80 million, if you believe the Googles, has effectively decided to die on the R. Kelly Hill, which is wild to say the least absolutely wild um not something i would actually do and not something i'd advocate if you're trying to have fuck you money and make a statement i think there are probably better things you could be spending your time advocating for or trying to have a hot take on but again i appreciate that he exists i also appreciate the fact that he's willing to say these things because he knows he's uncancelable right he's the one that did the what feature with eight with six nine when he first got locked up after everyone was saying that he was flipping you know um what's that was called uh, a rat and stuff right um akon did a song of him even though he's got that seminal kind of prison hit locked up there one let me out shit he still did it with him because again f you money you can do what you want so this is courtesy of hip hop dx it says akon believes r kelly has a right to redeem himself over quote unquote mistakes
This feels similar to like, you know, when um Dave Chappelle said um Ja Rule in it, right? Ja Rule. Let, let's get I can't wait to hear what Ja Rule has to say about things this thing, right? Which is kind of a commentary on the um over dependence and people willing people kind of caring about what celebrities that have, you know, questionable levels of intelligence are gonna say about very nuanced topics. And just celebrities in general. I don't even hope about people. So it continues. Acorn might have wanted to avoid catching up with TMZ for the foreseeable future. On the heels of a controversial comment about rich people having it worse than poor folks. Oh, did you say that? Madness. The lonely artist R. Kelly should have um, shot at redemption following his conviction on numerous sexual abuse charges on Monday. There is always a way to redeem yourself, Akon says, but you have to first accept the fact that you're wrong. He has the right to redeem himself for those mistakes. Um, even him, he has a right to try and make it by to try and make it right by those he hurt. Now, if Akon's Christian or religious in any kind of way, this makes complete sense. I think it's interesting to see people kind of doing away with this sort of idea and premise or because there's a lot of i understand it because i think there's some people especially religious christian people who are so quick to kind of come out and be the first person to say yes i forgive my um my kind of son's murderer who went through his house ransacked his home raped his wife hung his kids by the flipping coal hanger and then killed my husband 17 times over right there's there's a too much of a reluctance to come out there's too much of an insistence to come out and say that kind of thing maybe to get airtime or to prove that you're the best christian and top like a top christian instead of like to a top red which can be annoying but in general if you're a religious person it this shouldn't be that far off for you to have this sort of opinion the most reprehensible people in the world who do the worst things are always going to be redeemable to you because whatever but the god you pray to promises everybody redemption right so for you not to have it and somebody that's quote-unquote perfect to have it who's all seeing to have it just doesn't make any sense does it now if he's not religious and he says this kind of thing that's when it gets a bit loopy you know what i mean if he comes out and says he's atheist and he still has this kind of thinking that's when you're like rah that's probably, I wouldn't say more impressive, but it's just interesting someone to have that if they don't have any sort of religious anchor to them. But hey, what can I know? It continues, says, Akon says, I believe that God makes no mistakes. See, there you go. People that can debate back and forth all day, and if it's happening to him, it's supposed to happen to him for whatever reason. Now, that's something that he has to have within himself to really value his whole life. His way of being and being get caught up in a situation like that, whatever happens, is between him and God, which is true. I don't see there's anything wrong you said there really in that respect but I just think nowadays with how kind of tense everything is and I think that it's more so around the fact that this is, this is going to sound weird but it's more so around the fact that look at that crazy headline there Lil Nas X sparks bisexual rumours after claiming he misses pussy mate if, if Lil Nas X could just focus on making great music instead of all this shit his life would be so so much better in general, I honestly do think so. I, I know part of the reason why he's doing it is because this is what people want nowadays, even though they're not admitting it. They kind of want the drama. They want the nonsense. But in terms of his longevity and his, his ability to kind of be able to just parlay all this fame into something else, he needs to have a few, not a few, but a couple more maybe good years to get him back on, or to, to get him in a position where he has ability to kind of segue into other things because from that album to that performance of Jolene, Yikes on the bike, man. But anyway, it continues. Um, da, 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 believe in God. Um, the New Jersey bread icon separated the person from the artist and complimented R. Kelly on being the best ever to pick up the pen. And music he's ever been, he believes that he can't be taken away from him. R. Kelly is convicted. Da, da, da. One second's comments were on social media. The backlash reportedly, da, da, da. yeah, people are just going to say backlash because he didn't say anything. He didn't come out and completely condemn him which you know this is right to do so the writing great music thing because again like i said how many people are legitimately were legitimately listening to r kelly even before the allegations anyway i still think he was had a big appeal only to those kind of aunties that stand outside the court and shout he's innocent right those are the people are really playing r kelly don't be, don't let's not make mistakes maybe a couple of features here and there but who was really bumping our kelly in the whip before you'll commit anyway no one really so this suggestion that we should recognize his pen is like moot because no one even recognized the pen when he was out jamie when he was out out properly um they were just you know they just enjoyed it for what it was and just kept it moving but i don't know man. like i said i'm i'm kind of in somewhat awe of it because again he's got fuck you money so he's just coming out shooting from the hip and saying whatever the hell he wants but i'm also on the side of like is this really the hill you want to die on the r kelly redemption hill um the r kelly has um what's it called 
has been abused himself here it's like yeah we know but he's still a monster monsters are monsters it is what it is you can't um what you call it what's that word called you can't um reverse engineer all that shit or explain it away you know what i mean he still did some reprehensible things that he's obviously being punished for by the full force of the law and it just is what it is you take his lumps and bumps to keep him moving if he's denied it himself this long he's probably not going to change his mind anytime soon especially not with redemption on the flipping horizon he doesn't care about that sort of shit I mean, he's got those aunties outside the flipping courthouse shouting his name man he is lit for life 